Hello and welcome to the Point So. Today on the show, our Fatima Tassuso was in Basse where she engaged the Basse Alcalo Celluba. Let's have a look at this interview. Good evening, viewers. Today we are here in Basse at the house of the Alcalo of Basse, Mr. Celluba. He is going to give us a brief history about himself. Thank you very much. And um, please, can uh, you? Um, may I ask this opportunity to welcome you to my home? Okay. Uh, in Basse. Can you please tell us a little bit biography about yourself? Yes. I am a right honorable Mumu Seluba, but most people call me Seluba or, or some call me SB. I was born in Basse on the 15th of March 1952. I schooled at Kobakunda Primary School, then it was called Primary. So we are the first batch in 1960. We are the first batch to open that school. Then after six years, in 1966, I started the, the common entrance. We went to St. Augustine's High School. By then it was located at Hagan Street. Hmm. Then used to used to spend six years in high school, for one, two, three, four, lower five, upper five. I graduated there in 1972, then came back to Basse. I joined Basse. I came to take the leave of my, my father that I want to go on and do medicine, but he insisted that I must stay. So that's how I was able to stay. After one month, I was employed by the Basera Council as a rebellion collector cum scribe. I, I rose the ladder. I, I rose the ladder from rebellion collector cum scribe to, to senior rebellion collector to I stand treasurer, I stand treasurer, treasurer, which now is called the director of finance. Then as then LGO now called the CEOs of, of, of councils. Okay, during that course, during that period, I've uh, undergone a lot of a lot of trainings in and outside the Gambia. I I studied at the MDI when MDI was just newly built. I did my AAT level two. From there, I've also undergone a lot of out country courses. I spent one year in Nigeria in Kaduna Polytechnic. That was in 1979 80. I had to do my, my diploma in local government administration and finances. In 1996, I have to leave. After spending 24 years, after then I I joined politics, hmm. but to become the, the National Assembly member for Basse from 1997 to 2012. Yes. During that period also, I have served in, in so many committees of the National Assembly. Also, I was opportune to be a member of the ECOWAS Parliament. Five years, no, for four years. That is from 19, uh, from 2007 to 2012. Then, at the time, I, I, I left politics. I lost my 2012 elections. Then. That's how I was then I served as a member of the I served as the administrative secretary one of the APRC National Political Bureau. Then I was also a member of the Rent Tribunal at the time of the Magistrate Court. Uh, I was doing those two jobs together. Then then twenty sixteen I decided to come back home finally to come and 
I'm going to settle back at home. And it, uh, and it uh, completed. But when I also came, after one week, the people of Basse, after the demise of the Akalo, they said, I must, I must be the Akalo. Yeah. Which I objected to, but hence, hence they need my services, I have to accept. Mm, that's a very interesting uh, The position I'm still holding up to now. Okay, this position of Ali Kahlo, mm. before it came to you, was it within your family or it was with another family before it came to you? Mm. The Akalo, whom I succeeded, after his death, he was the secretary to my father. My father was the Akalo from 94 to, to 99. When my father died, they wanted me to take over. I said no. Then I said, let him, he's, he was called Nasir Bari. I, Nasir Bari. I made him the Alcalo. And he has served long because he, has, he served from 1999 to 20 to 2016. Almost 17 years he was the Alcalo. Well, even before that, my grandfather was the Alcalo for, for Basse. Uh, Alcalo for Basse for a long time, for almost 38 years. Yeah. Modi Bilo Jallo. He, he, is the, he was the father of Abledi Chile's mother and my mother. Abledi Chile's mother and my mother, the same mother and father. Uh, yes. I have been the Alcalo for Basse for 38 years. Mm. So, wow. yes. so, when Nasir Bari passed away, I had to take over. But, came back to you. But then there were intervals when other families, like the Chamkunda family, also we are on the throne as Alcali. Alaji MC Cham, father, Alaji Risa Cham. May, mm -hmm. may he serve us in peace mm -hmm. because they are called here. That was after my grandfather passed away. Mm -hmm. okay. yes, then when I did such a job, became the Alcalo. Mm -hmm. Then when he passed away also, there were elections, then his son won the election and became the Alcalo. That was uh, like a your job. He was Alcalo until 1994 when he was removed by, by the military junta. Mm. And then they appointed my father. And okay, um, we also learned that you were once the, you were the first MP in Basse here during the second regime and you served for two times. During for this, three times. Okay, three times. Mm. You served for three times. During this period, what were you able to do for the people of URR? Well, it's not, it's not because of um, boasting, but not only for this region or not for only Basse, in the whole Gambia. When I was working as a civil servant in the councils, I went to I went to KUDC. I was transferred there in 1987 after my AAT. After my after my AAT uh, course, then the it was a World Bank project. They 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 told the government that. I must be posted at, at KUDC to prepare for the, uh, it was a project called Urban Management Development Project. That project came through the World Bank to, to start to evaluate valuation of properties. That's how the valuation of properties started in the Gambia. And it was just for Banjul and, and KUDC. So I was there from 1988 to 92. During that time, I was opportune to, to have a very good team there. By then, I was the treasurer, now director of finance. My boss was, was Mr. Panjai. He was the municipal clerk. I was the treasurer. That was here in Basin, no, in the Combos? In Carnivine. Then from there we started. You see, the, 
And now times we are played in open spaces. I have to go and watch football. And then I went to council. I said, look, can we not help these youths? Because it is it is part of our responsibilities to to to, to take care of youths. And they told me, how can we help? I said, we can pass the the Navitana fields by the east, west, and back out. By then, there was no money. They said, how are we going to do this? Because you know that it's a... By then, KUDC's budget was, was, was two million. Two million, one hundred thousand, to the... Yeah. That's how I said, well, we can buy cream things. They all love. <laughs> they said, what? They want us to spend our monies buying cream things, then... It, the next moment, people will just go and burn it down or steal down. I said, no, it's a trial. I have to sign an undertaking that if it fails, I will switch out. Then, then we went to, then we went to find, uh, uh, they gave the approval. Then, I have no choice. Uh, then, we have to go for, we have to go to to Dongoroba to buy the the kind things. By then, Oje was the minister of agriculture. Oje Jallo was the minister of agriculture. Uh, I went to him to help us with with trucks to use that to to go and buy these kind things. We bought them. We came and fence. All the three parks. Okay. We are in our ten fields are east, mm -hmm. west, and Bacau. Okay. After the that, of course, is in. After all expenditures, and how I went out, we employed day and night watchmen to take care of the canteen fences. Yes. Those days, we are sleepless nights for me because I have to go around them to see. If the watchmen are there, if they are not sleeping, and so on. But God help us. That year, and every season went very successfully. After everything, after all expenditures, because what I did, I opened bank accounts for each of these three zones. East, the, the old bank, by then there was this BICI bank. Uh, then, uh, after every match, the next morning they have to go and bank, then they will they bring the pay slip to me for me to see, then issue them with other tickets, that's how we did. After all the expenditures, it ha had a net balance in the bank, 78,000 then, rest got 60,000. Abaka got 45,000. That's how we were able to. So now, Alhamdulillah. Because by then we had a very strong, a very strong committees from the zones. The second East was headed by Ahmad Jallo, Oje's brother. West was headed by Unda Anyang. Abaka was headed by, by Sose Koli and others. That old man. So, Alhamdulillah, things went fine. Mm. Then also the, the box bar stadium in the Brikama was fenced by me also in 1990. When Gambia was to celebrate the, the Silver Jubilee. That was 25 years of nationhood independence. Mm. By then, Babangida was to come over and, uh, and uh, Prince Charles was also to come. But their security came in advance to look because the big hammer was to host the Mansa Bengo. Mm -hmm. And that, that was the only place they have, and it was an open space. They said there are people will not come there. So that was how I was called to see whether I can, whether I can fence that, fence that place. I said yes, because by it was just for seven weeks left. They said, if I can fence it. I said, if the funds are provided, by then, 
Baboon Party was then the commissioner for Western Division, but it was called Western Division. So that's how we were able to, to face that place, a box bar stadium. Yes. Then I came to Basetu, 94. I faced the high level field, which more so knows. I faced the car park, I built the car park, the youth center, the abattoirs, all the I can see premises, I fence them all. And a host of artists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was a youth leader. For a I was in Manza Congo briefly from 92 to 94. When I came there, the youth also they came together. They made me the chairman of the Avignon Youth Transports Committee, which is able to mobilize the youth. We used to organize inter-district tournaments. Yes, just to bring the youth together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until 96, when I was appointed to stand for Basel, I did. With the help of my father, my parents, my friends, I was able to succeed because it was a very difficult election. Because, you know, the PP was just ousted after two years election. You know, PPP were very powerful. So all the mafias were from Basse. So <laughs> I have to contest against them. But Alhamdulillah, God helped me to win. So I served there from 1997 to 2012 for three times, five years, five years, five years. Mm. That was great. Mm. That's a very great achievement. Uh, we want to congratulate you on that. You've mm. done a lot for the people. Mm. And I hope the people will see and take you as an example. A lot of people, mm. especially the youth, will take you as mm. a role model. Mm. Um, now, just your final words to the people of Basse and the Gambia entirely. Because being an elderly person and you could achieve all this, the youths are coming up. And you, what, what would you say, especially to the youth in politics today? But once you are in this country, you are one time a politician, a member of parliament. When you are not there, life becomes a very difficult for you. And that's why in the Western world, it's very rare you see young people involved in politics. It's elderly, you, you go there with your experience, with your maturity, with your, uh, with your foresight, but you know the young ones, their foresight are not that much long. Yes, but I'm not discouraging them not, because generations do change. Now is their generation. Maybe this, this is their time. But what I would advise them is, once they have decided to go into it, let them. Be very quick to mature, to, 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 uh, to go into it very maturely and to be able to respond to the needs of their people. The Gambian politics is very difficult. You will never know it until you go inside it. When you are outside, you think everything is in the National Assembly. I was even glad. Just last week, Honorable Magasi, I contested with him in, in 2012. He defeated me. But from that time, we are very good friends. He used to come here as we used to chat. They granted him interview here last week about taxi FM. I followed him, but he has told the people what the people think what an MP is and what is there is two different things. They think everything is there for you and you never know it until when you go inside it. But the young ones. Now, yes, we need a change. We need the young ones to come up, but let them also have some experienced people within themselves. That's why I like the way Honorable Halifa Sala, Honorable Sidia Jata, and some few elderly people who are within them, 
in the National Assembly. They are really doing very good services for the young ones. And hey, let me tell the young ones, let them not see that they are not in the same party with and they will see the Ajata or Khalifa Salda, so they will not. And let them prepare to learn from these people. Let them prepare to learn from them. Yes, they are very good foresights. Yes, very good. They are very good parliamentarians. Khalifa, Sida Ajata, and they have some elderly people there. Like KKB has long been the majority leader has long been working. He has experience and few others. Like the man in Lower Nyomitu is good. I do follow them. Yes. And uh, the man who will is too is trying very well. That's why Buture is trying. Yes. I can hand pick a very few of them. But like the other ones, young ones, be prepared to learn from these people. The first time, the people voted them in. But for the second time, they should vote for themselves. They should make the people to vote for them. Yes. The first one, the people voted them in. Now, it's now for them to be able to vote themselves in. And, uh, that's the right thing that should be prepared to learn. Okay, thank you very much, you. Um, Mr. Mm. Selova, mm. for giving us your time and mm. giving us this um, little from your own side, your mm. own quarter of the politics, mm. especially your advice uh, and your last mm. words to the politicians. We want to say thank you very much. You all have heard uh, the Alcalo of Base and a former MP of uh, Base URR. He has given his own quarter to his people. He has served for three times and right now he is serving as the Alcalo of Base. And we are praying that may he last long on that throne of alcoholship. This mm. is your point program. I am Fatima Suso.